Good morning. Good morning. You bear with me. I've had seven meetings since morning. So I'm a little bit tired, but we're going to walk. My first degree was in theology. I studied theology as my first major, but I got bored. <coughs> I went into journalism where I where I reside now. And I'm doing a career speech in the next two years. And my next step is in mental health. So I'm very proud of this. I'm going to request you something very simple. So what you can neighbor what you did I have on Bong Hiko. Molo? Molo. Molo one. So Hey. Hey. Hello. I, I believe so much in Omotu Awansi. Last month I, I completed my Masters in International Relations and Diplomacy and still last month I completed my course as a coach. I'm internationally certified as a, as a coach from the New York University. I equally finalized my pronatalism course last week. Why do I love to study? Because I love to grow. I want you to think about mental health as a frontier. So in Uganda, mental health is something that is despised. People don't seem to understand it because they're not informed. The reason I study all those different layers, you realize that it's, it's about communication. Trying to understand as a coach what frames do I use when I'm talking to someone who needs a transformation? What frames of conversations do I structure and curate when I'm talking to someone who wants just to find parts? It took me a while to find me. I want you to ask your neighbor, do you know you? Because some of us don't know us, oh, I didn't tell you what else I do. I am married to a woman, female. <laughs> Where I, I travel a lot, I am meant to introduce myself as a she or a he. The world is changed. If we have some of you here and you believe in that nonsense, I wish you luck. <laughs> I'm an African man and I'm a Christian. I believe in woman and man to procreate. So those who are biased on that, yes, I'm very biased to the African community. <laughs> what is your why? Why do you do mental health? Ask yourself a question. What's your why? Have you ever thought of why you do what you do? I wake up every day at 3 a.m. Now that I'm done with my courses, I'll have one more hour or two. I wake up at 3 a.m. and what is my right to wake up every day Sir. is because I want to retire so early. I have 10 years to retire. That's, that's my why. Why do I read a lot of courses and different dynamics and industries to understand? I must be grounded to become the next big thing, being relevant. The person you're going to take through the courses and sessions of mental health is possibly below your age. Data shows us that we're having children committing suicide from the age of nine. Do you know, how many of you here know how to talk to children? We are very few, personalized struggle. I don't know how to talk to children. <coughs> they are cognitive when you're talking to them. I've challenged my wife to help me learn how to talk to children. Because I'm weak in that. So when you're learning and you're studying mental health and psychology, whatever you call it, always go back and find your why. That is the fuel that drives us every day. Money is a tool to me, it's not the end goal. 
I despise money. I despise money. I amplify purpose. That's, that's my why. That's why I work at every other morning to become a better person. So as a mental health advocate, I see a lot of people online talking a lot about advocates of mental health. But themselves, they don't understand mental health models. Are you aware that as a country we don't have suicide prevention models? We don't. We don't have suicide prevention models. It's, it's, it's alarming that the country does not understand what we're dealing with. If today this symposium or meeting was about St. Justin in Antony, would be struggling to find where to see it. But look around you, you can even stretch your legs. Meaning that our people don't love information that is sacred. What we're dealing with is a sacred disease. It's a sacred pandemic. At your home, the reason why I learned and I love a lot about mental health and I am willing to go for safety courses, assist and all that. I deal with a lot of people. I deal with a lot who are once People be, you want to be SEs, May I be with a man two hours? Yesterday at 4 p.m. I was on a boat going to Holy to talk to the fishermen about mental health. And I had a bulletin at 9 p.m. in the night. And there was crazy traffic yesterday to some of you who were there. And the fisherman told me, Rachel, don't go in chair. But because I know there is urgency about what you're talking about, I don't have time. I don't know about you, but my space is sacred. I choose people, they don't choose me. Think about it. Do people choose you? You must be the one to choose who comes in your space. I choose people. I met a couple of counselors before I met Adrian, but I chose him to come in my space. Because I'm mentally aware of what's around me. Those ones I've worked with, um, like Adrian, like Farida, they call me a little bit of a risk of us person. But I'm aware that what breaks my mental health is what I entertain, what I feed my mind, and I cannot comprehend it later. So most of you are doing mental health. Maybe for the money, maybe you have NGOs and you want to get big money. Maybe that is your goal. But how about you just flip it on the other side and we ask ourselves a very vital question. When all is said and done, when you get all the money and the power you have, what next? Change it down. <clears throat> have you ever thought about that? When I was a young man, starting journalism, I was very taken up by how many people would get a lot of fame. And when I was in the UK, I got a post that helped me to manage fame and work. But the excitement for me was the women, our cousins. The why was weak. And until I got to where I got to, that their model is designed for news anchors, for mental stability. Do you have a model for you? What is your mental model? Quite ask you later, what's your mental model? What's your mental model? What's your mental model? Because we are studying mental health, but we don't have mental models. My wife is an introvert. I think if we were here, she would have spoken like now just two words. Hi, everyone, and quiet. Because she's an introvert, and I'm an extrovert. But the more you become, aware of who you are, you become very silent. Mm. Mm. That happens. Some of you want to become celebs. The more you become a celeb, you become extremely drawn back. 
because people don't seem to understand you. The average state of mind will tell you that you as an individual, you're strong, you're unique, you're whatever you want to say. But the more you know, the more quiet you become. It's not shocking that your father, the older he is grown, I won't let you ever be. Because it's knowledge. Now the problem is because you don't have a mental model to tap into that you can't get. There are some energies we have as human beings you'll never understand. How many if you if, if you're a woman and female you hear just by show up, just raise your hand. If you're a woman and female, you need to be exact on that. Women have an energy that is divine to multiply. Yeah, okay. Men don't have it. I make lots of money. I know money. I love money. I love money. But I'm aware that my wife has more power to multiply my money. I'm mentally aware of that. So the African man who is not aware of that will feel intimidated if a woman is multiplying. The men here, when will it? You feel intimidated if your wife or your girlfriend is achieving more than you because you're not cognizant of the divine power a woman has. Women sense energy. If your wife knows that you have a particular girl, when she tries to get to you, there is an energy that repels her from you because she can tell. I don't know, but you know, you're not just, you're not just a girl. It's an energy. But we don't understand all those because we're not informed. We don't read. We don't study. When we study, we study to pass. We don't study to understand. Again, it goes back. What is the why of doing mental health? What are you doing? Is it at your home? You have someone mentally sick a little bit? I will share with you a model that protects news anchors from sleeping around. This is just for you. And it's designed for the product of an NG. That is why I work at NTG. So we have three classes of people. We have the A. A, the class of A, these are people who are bougie bougie. You have a bougie friend? You have a bougie friend? You have a bougie friend? A bougie friend is someone who comes from an affluent family, rich, powerful. They don't care. When they fail a course, they call daddy and daddy calls the dean and the dean calls. <laughs> you have those people? Those are bougie. <laughs> now the bougie, the schools that you go to address them differently. They tell them life is about network. That's the bougie one of life. Life is about Networks. As and how they marry, they don't marry for love like us. But <laughs> well, 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 we marry for love. Oh, chili more she 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 she. Guy, I'm in a six pack. I'm in a mood. Oh my God. That is for the poor. The bougie don't marry for that. They marry for alliances. Love will grow. So that's one class. Then we have the class B, people who are struggling to actually make it to the bougie class. People like you and me. I don't come from a very rich family. My home is very modest. I think Akinda, I showed, I stayed seven houses away from my father's home. That is in Chihuahua. Somewhere this home. Class B. We go to school and our parents tell us so many Okusoma we Okay? Then we have C class. Kawe 
So as a news anchor, we are trained that when we meet these people, the first questions we ask tell us the frame of the person that they come from. My question is, how are you and fine? What's your name? James. James, what's your name? That's the first question. C class go to senior secondary schools. And for them, education is not about understanding. It's about a degree. Senior, secondary. Their approach to life is survival. When you're talking to them, they threaten you. They say, "Not if you are first finish your thing, you stop at my thing." So when I meet such a person, my limits are very clear. The frame is standard. I don't meet you in a private place. Want to see me? Let's look at the reception. The only things we can't meet because you see class. My frame is very clear. C class, they will call you while you're reading news on TV and they say, Kamukuri, I'm going to send to you, you in the choir. That is C class. They want to prove. They want to associate. They are craving for attention of people with power and money. When we meet the B class, they're trying to fit in. So I am trained to know these different frames of people as and when I'm dealing with them. You cannot do that when you don't have mental health at the back of your mind. You can't. You can't. So however beautiful a woman is at her workplace, if she's from the C class, the HR will ask two questions. Because the conditioning of Kawempe, it's survival. Have you ever been in traffic jam in Kawempe? Yeah. Okay, you why you say? Yeah. Okay, Namuongo? Abanda wakuta ko energy zaguziraba? We don't pay attention to that. So if you're studying mental health, thrive to stay away from conditions that are going to become triggers to you. That is why I'm very cognizant of who is in my space. Your space is very sacred. You don't get in anyone. You know, I see on Twitter today is Friday at a run for the who said they don't really want me. You want what they want. Like people access your space that easily. Like they can just get into your space. Your space is your sacred level of mental readiness. Be alert. Be alert. You're a student today. Maybe tomorrow you'll be my mental health counselor. The worst case scenario ever is to treat someone who is more knowledgeable than what you're doing. The worst case scenario is to be a mental health advocate and you find me that you're going to be my counselor or my psychologist. I know the friends you're using, I know the models you're using, or I even know better friends you. Let me just tell it to you bluntly. Your client is more informed than you are. Yes, I've got it in the back of your mind. Your client is more informed than you are. So, whatever you do in mental health, how equipped are you? How many of you are in the African mental health group? By show of hands. Okay, maybe that is too far. How many of you have a group that brings together people in mental health in your district and you're part of them? Okay, let me take it down. How many of you are in a WhatsApp group of mental health in your church, in your mosque, in your synagogue? And we are all students of? The question again comes, what's your why? Think about it. 
The clients are not far from you, but you just feel they don't deserve the service now. Think about it. That's the model. In my community, I had a meeting and I was very humble that when I called a meeting to talk about mental health, they kept. Everyone around me must be mentally stable. When I'm buying land, I buy and I ask, I make sure I will coerce my friends to buy the rest of the land around me. Because I am aware of mine. So while you're here and you're studying and you're interacting with people, get to platforms that challenge your thinking. When I was studying pornatalism, I was the only black guy in that class. Black, young, and I'm the only person who has more kids than any other person. I have two children. Does any other has more children than any other person in this I'm like, okay. But I learned. Love knowledge. Exercise what you get. Ugandans don't love to read. Even near times you read exams when you just want to pass. But read with the intent of understanding, of being innovative. You can be studying mental health and the different disciplines, but when you're going to use them at a different level. The president of this country wakes up at 3 a.m. That's when the time. What we call a presidential matrix is presented to him. But before he attends to the presidential matrix briefing, he first talks to his psychologist. You think he's a fool? When was the last time you yourself, as a mental health practitioner, student, you just checked into a counselor and you sat here for a session? Think about it. Because if I want to go to the world, I'm going to go to the world. That's a lie. I break at times and I have to call in and they say, How do I move from here to there? So, as I'm finalizing, before you ask questions, I have a couple of questions for you to ask yourself. How do you balance pursuing your personal why with the responsibilities and expectations that come with family? How do you balance that? Never wish for what you love. There is a price to pay. The price I pay for who I am, I'm very scarce. It's lonely at the top. Hmm. If no one tells you that, I'll tell you the truth. It's lonely at the top. It gets boring. That's why they go back to my power and see. And I hear their crazy stories, but fun. How does your why reflect to your belief system and your values? I'm not going to scare you about life. But I'll tell you today you're very lucky because you're here. Some of you believe in God. I believe in God, but I believe in science as well. The universe will always give you information as and when you're ready to use it. You're not here by accident. You've been broke in the last month, but for some reason you got the Kadenuke and Kafoteke for this. So the universe knew that you need this information. Please use it adequately. Every data you get and you don't put it to use, you will regret when you're old. Just think about it. Take time serious. Protect your space. That manyango vilirotuli watunda wali. The day you realize that you've wasted time is when everyone will be gone. And I keep telling my people that to us, no one is coming to save you. Don't you ever think of <laughs> Mama Wange, Tata Wange. No, 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 no. No one is coming to save you. Life is about you. I can only come to help you. My first key question for the frame of the conversation, where is the challenge? If I don't get those answers, I'm done. 
those of you in mental health, find platforms that challenge your thinking. We are not so brilliant the way we think we are. We are not. Find platforms that challenge you. Platforms that challenge you actually have the money and the funds. Some of you did mental health because you want pride around your child. But you are so much psychology, I have to know that part. Now I'm going to go crazy. That's shallow. The power of the cause of mental health is to save lives. If you can find that as your why, that would be great. I'll tell you for a fact, there is no money that's enough. There is no a valid proportion of friends that would be enough. How many of you have friends you started with from Nassau and up to today they are still your friends? My show hands. One, two. How many of you have friends you went to school in primary and they are still your friends? My show hands. How many of you have friends you went to second and they are still your friends? By show hands. Me, I have one friend. One? Because I like to reposition people. People get expired. <laughs> People do what? If we went to the same primary school and you're calling me now, what are we talking about? Okay, we went to the same secondary school, what are we talking about? How does that correspond to my dreams today? There is a model called reposition, and I talk to these smart people. Some of them felt offended. I will close with this. If I know Adrian Kakinda today, and I've not talked to Adrian for the last six months, I see him, I don't know him. I see him, I don't know him. Because change goes every six months. A girl who was raped at the age of seven, by the time she actually met 14 years, the entire atoms and molecules of her body that were abused were all out of her body. It's a new body. You understand? People expire. Even your parents expire. My parents expire. They are alive, but to me they are. See? That's what I'm explaining. Parents. The decision I make today, it does not concern them. I wake up in the morning and I say I'm going to talk at KIU, and I walk, I don't have to call my mother to explain myself. She's expired with my decision making. The friends I had six months ago, they don't correspond to the nature of what I'm chasing now. They are expired. So we get tired, especially in Africa, because we are stuck on people we think that they have chosen us without us choosing them. So those people you went to school with, it is good to keep a rapport high, 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 but your life has a much more bigger journey than what they have. The more you learn to reposition people, the more you learn to actually bring in better people in your lives. The people around you, you actually cherish and you hold so dear because they actually praise you. Find people who can challenge you what you say and what you think. It will be painful at the start, but it's worth it. So every six months, I reposition even my wife. I reposition her. Yeah. The constant is wife. Wife. But the other attributes, I reposition her. She is six months in Kwara, and you're going to put together meeting I'm just going to allow you to just pray for me, and let's believe for a miracle. But you won't understand. And I choose to tell her to reposition me as well. Because there's some... Take time, you'll understand the repositioning model if you are extremely sacred about your space. The day you understand that your space is sacred, to get in my space, sabo, whatever that when you get in my space, I need to be, what are you doing here? Ask yourself that question. Are some people in your life because of emotions or because of purpose? 
Why are you still stuck with your boyfriend of senior four? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he loves me. Oh, he has me. <laughs> the more, the more you refuse to allow old people to live your life, you actually deny new things to come in your space. Learn to go out of your cycle. Learn to disrupt what you know. You, we are all not, not all knowledgeable. We learn, we evolve. Above all, read, read, read. Last but not least, to those of you who believe in God, in one way or the other, I want to remind you we can do so much with our intellect and knowledge, but without God, we are loud sounding tribes. Find time and pray. Find time and pray. I may be so busy left, right and center, but I take time and pray. And I pray. Because sustaining what you got by prayer will require you to pray beyond. We are all not perfect. But the cost of being of mental health. It is something most people won't understand and they won't believe in. But I'll tell you what. All the people we follow in the Bible and in history, we understood what they were talking about when they were dead. So it's okay to be misunderstood. Thank you. Thank you so much.